Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's get cracking with this frosted glass. So I've got my object loaded, the viewport shading enabled and a principled BSDF loaded. I'm then going to press Shift A in the shading tab and search for a color ramp. Plug the color from this into the base color of the principled shader. For the first color, I'm going to select a hue of 0.66, saturation of 0.25, and a value of 1. So it's a light lilac color. For the second one, I'm going for 0.53 for the hue, 0.25 for the saturation, and 1 for the value, and that's like a, a very soft, subtle blue. I'm now going to load a hue saturation node and plug that in between the color ramp and the principled shader. I'm going to change the saturation to 0.5. And then all of the other changes I'm going to make in the principled shader itself. I'm going to change the roughness to 0.25. Going to increase the clear coat to 0.75 and the clear coat roughness to 0.25, sorry, 0.75. And the transmission I'm putting all the way up to 1. And that's what's going to give us our transparency. I'm increasing the emission strength to 1.1. Doesn't make a huge difference, but. Try it anyway and see what results you get depending on your scene. Now in the light path settings, I'm changing the total to 12, glossy to 12, transmission to 12, and transparent to 12. These are basically the, nu the number of times that Blender will calculate the light passing through the object. Uh, I'm rendering this with a thousand samples, but you can increase it if your hardware will cope. Okay, that's it for this one. Please do remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more from Blender Bite Size.